Sometimes we just need to wait. Voltaire once said, we never live. We are always in the expectation of living. I'm telling you that because in today's episode, we are going to create together a animation loading page. As I told you, sometimes you have to wait. We are going to create it really from scratch, step by step. We are going to use the Flexbox for layout and position. Then we are going to use a pseudo class and create those three borders with different colors. And for the animation, we are going to be using keyframes. All right, let's start you really from scratch. In the beginning, we have a folder with nothing inside of it. So let's open up our brackets. And here, let's create a files structure. It's just two files, okay? The first one, our index.html for markup. And let's also create another one for our CSS. Once this is done, let's come to here and create our boilerplate. Let's also put it side by side so you can code on the right and see the result in real time on the left, okay? Here on the title, let's say something like loading animation page. And this is quite simple. Let's go to the body here, okay? I forget the link. A link that's gonna connect our markup to our CSS. Now let's, let's go to the body. Down here the body, let's create a div uh, class loading. And inside this one, we're going to have a spell, the text. That's it, loading. The only text we have here. We are setting our CSS. This is where the magic happens. Let's get this font from Google Fonts. Okay, most out. You can pick whatever font you, you like the most. And now let's move to the body. Okay, in the body here, our reset is quite simple. Let's get you rid of margin, also get you rid of padding. Let's pick a nice background color. Let's pick this one, 34, 49, okay, A is a nice color. Display, as I told you, let's use flex, all right. Align items center. Let's bring our loading to the middle of the page and just find content also center and you have it right where you want in the center. For the family, let's use Monserrat and Sanserf, the same we got from Google. Now let's grab the loading, okay? Let's give it a size with 200 pixels, height also 200 pixels. As you can see, we have this square here. This is the size of the our spinning loading. Let me add a background color so you can see, okay? This is the size, but it's not gonna be a square. We're gonna make it round, okay? Actually, let's do that right now using body radio 50%. So as you can see, this div here is gonna be two by two and it's gonna be also uh, round. Let's create our first border top. It's going to be 10 pixels, it's going to be solid, and now let's pick a nice color. It's all about the color, okay? Let me use this one to CC71, all right? As you can see, we have the first one, it's just three, two more to go. Position here is going to be a relative. We did well about the top. Now, all I have to do is create two more, okay? For that, let's use the pseudo class before and pseudo class after, okay? Let me type here, loading after. And in here, of course, it's gonna have the contents, it's gonna be nothing. And let's give it a size, okay? With 200 pixels by 200 pixels, the same size, okay? And now let's, I'm gonna give you this color just for you to see, okay? You're gonna see, understand what you are creating. And position absolute here. So now let's put in the center, left zero. There is a problem at the top, let's fix that with minus 10 pixels. And yeah, it's right where we want. 
Now let's use box sizing border box. And to make that round, let's use border radius 50%. Okay, now we have it. We can get rid of the column. You know what is going on. It's all set up. Now let's create our borders, okay? Let's use the pseudo class before. And let's create our border top, 10 pixels solid. And as you can see, we are creating that right on the top of the first one. Let's give the color and you see, is it the top of the first one? But let's fix that with transform. Let's rotate it 30 degree. And yeah, it's exactly where we want. Now let's go to the last one. Loading after. Let's create border top. 10 pixels solid. Let's pick a color. Feel free to choose your own colors, all right? And again, is on the top. Let's bring it to here. Let's transform, rotate to 40 degrees. And our beautiful circle is done. Now let's deal with our text, okay? The loading. Let's select it, loading, spam. And the idea here is bring it down to the mirror, okay? First of all, position is going to be absolute. Let's give it the same size of a circle with a height 200 pixels. Now we are on the same page. Font weight 500. Let's pick also a nice color. Okay. You can pick your own color, the one you like the most. Feel free to do the change the project. Okay. All right, now text align center. And to bring it really down, line height, let's say 200 pixels. Okay, now it's right in the middle. Next step, you're gonna give it some life. And it's time, guys. Now let's give life to our creation. Okay, animation one to seconds is gonna be linear and infinite. Of course, you can play around in those, okay? Down here, let's create our keyframe. Of course, we're gonna call the same name, A1. And we're going to wherever state we are before to 360 degrees. Hey, Tada! It's happening. It's spinning, okay? As you can figure out, now we have a problem. Everything is spinning together, making it's very messy so now let's deal with the text itself let's create an animation let's create a2 animation 2 and of course it's gonna be also two seconds linear and infinite okay let's uh, go down here and copy this and all we're going to do is make this animation go in the opposite direction, okay? This is 360 degrees, this one is going to be minus 36 degrees, okay? So this undulates, it looks like this is uh, it's not spinning, okay? And tada, it's really working. Georgia Circle is spinning and the load is down here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.